The hemocytometer is a versatile instrument used for quantitative estimation of cell population in a sample of cell suspension. It consists of a thick piece of glass light, the center of which contains two counting chambers separated by a groove. On either side of the two chambers are found two platforms which functions to support the cover slip when loading a sample onto the counting chambers. The height of the platforms and the chambers are designed in such a way that when a cover slip is placed on top, there is a gap of 0.1 mm between the cover slip and the chambers. This is known as the depth of the counting chambers. Each counting chamber consists of numerous crisscrossing, laser etched fine lines which form tiny squares of varying sizes and measurements. The counting grid has an overall dimension of 3 by 3 mm with an area of 9 square mm. Within this counting grid, can be found squares of three different sizes, simply referred to as small square, smaller square, and smallest square. The counting grid consists of nine small squares, each with a dimension of one by one millimeter. Each of the four corner squares are further subdivided into 16 smaller squares, each measuring 0.25 by 0.25 millimeter and an area of 0 0.0625 square millimeters. The small square at the center of the grid is however divided into 25 smaller squares, each square measuring 0.2 by 0.2 mm with an area of 0 0.04 square millimeters. Each of these smaller squares is further subdivided into 16 smallest squares. Each of these 16 smallest squares have a dimension of 0 0.05 by 0 0.05 mm and an area of 0 0.0025 square millimeter. The central small square therefore comprises of a total of 400 smallest squares. Thus, the volume occupied by the different squares singly or wholly can easily be worked out using data on their dimensions and the depth of the counting chamber. The areas in the central small square marked R are used for counting red blood cells while the four small corner squares marked W are used to count the white blood cells. The most commonly used hemocytometer is the one with the improved Neubauer counting chamber. Even though the hemocytometer can be used to count most types of cells, it was originally designed for counting blood cells and therefore commercially sold units usually come with a pair of special pipettes called the WBC pipette and the RBC pipette. The RBC pipette has a tiny red mixing bead inside the bulb. It has three graduations, 0.5, 1, and 101. This pipette is used for counting RBCs in a blood sample. The WBC pipette has a white bead inside of the bulb and has three graduations, 0.5, 1, and 11. This is used to count WBCs in blood samples. These pipettes also come with rubber tubings for drawing blood using suction force via the mouth or any suitable suction device such as a syringe. This is all about the hemocytometer. For videos on how to count RBCs, WBCs and platelets using this instrument, click on these video thumbnails or follow the links in the description below. Thanks for watching.